As we have been processing and installing our tongue and groove boards, some people have wondered, how does wood compare in cost to installing drywall? So I'm gonna go over the numbers and tell you how much tongue and groove versus drywall costs. I'm gonna be comparing a half inch by four by eight sheets of drywall, the standard drywall that most people would buy, with the wood that we have been buying. Now keep in mind that we are making our own tongue groove boards out of pine and they are not bought ready-made. So these came from simple one by four boards and that's the cost that I'm gonna compare. So we'll say that right now, a four by eight sheet of drywall costs about $14.50. And that covers about 32 square feet. Now that puts the cost of drywall right about at 45 cents per square foot. 45 cents, that's cheap. Now, I'm not gonna include the screws or the tape or the mud, but those are pretty inexpensive, but they are cost to consider. But drywall alone, 45 cents. The wood boards that we're buying are one by four, and they're 12 feet long, and they cost about $14 a board. A little over, actually. It would take about 10 of these boards, 10 12-foot boards, to equal the same square footage as one sheet of drywall. So we're talking 32 square feet drywall versus 10 of these boards is 32 and a half square feet. It's very close. Now you will have some waste, some cut off. So I think that's a fair comparison. So 10 of these boards at $14 a piece is $140. So already we're looking at $14 versus $140. You're already seeing the difference. And when I did the math on the exact numbers, it came out to be about $4.36 per square foot doing wood. $4.36 versus 45 cents a square foot. We have a 10 times greater cost doing wood versus drywall. 10 times, that's huge. Basically, if you bought 10 sheets of drywall to do a bedroom, and you know, the walls, it would cost you about $140. This would cost you about $1,400, 10 times more. So that's the cost comparison that I found. Some wood is more expensive, some wood is cheaper, there's different lengths, there's different prices, but a good average is 10 times the cost to do wood versus drywall. Now, keeping in mind that we are processing our own wood, that makes it more expensive because we're spending a lot more time on it Plus we had to buy more tools. We needed router tables and the special bits to cut the tongue and the groove. This job is costing us a lot more money than drywall would have ever cost. So not a savings, but we're doing it because we really like the style. We like the look and we're trying to keep in line with the original wood that's already in the home, in the living room and the two other bedrooms. We just wanna keep that theme going so it's important to us. So we're doing it for personal reasons and not for cost. The good news is that you can save money by buying pre-made tongue groove boards. Now, instead of making your own, you can go to the store and buy a five and a half inch. They're everywhere. They're five and a half inches wide, wider tongue groove boards, very similar style. Now those boards pre-made with the design on them only cost about $13 a board for a 12 foot board they're already cheaper than the wood I'm buying, but they're wider also. So instead of 10 boards to equal one sheet of drywall, you would only need about six, six and a quarter boards. So the cost drops a lot. We're talking comparative to, to get that 32 square feet. It would only cost you around $80 to buy the pre-made wider tongue groove boards. That means it's a 40% less cost than this. So that's, that's really big. We're talking 140 versus 80. I hope that's not confusing. Basically, if you wanna to do tongue and groove boards, the pre-made store-bought tongue and groove is a better deal than making them yourself out of this smaller wood. We didn't wanna go that route because we wanted this style. So we're spending almost twice as much to make our own tongue and groove boards versus buying them pre-made. And that answers another question that we've had is, are we saving money making our own wood versus buying it? No, no. Twice as much to make our own wood, 10 times as much overdoing drywall. 
Try to visualize it like this. You're gonna buy this in a four foot by eight foot sheet for $14, or you can buy this single board in a 12 foot length for $14. So 14, 14. And it takes a lot more of these to cover the wall than these. That's the easiest way to, to compare them. Now, I just hope it's gonna be worth it, but so far, we love the look, we love the style, and we're happy with it. And it's a one-time cost that hopefully we can just put behind us. Drywall definitely has its benefits. It's fire resistant, goes up quick, and once you get the hang of it, it's not hard to finish, and you have some nice smooth walls. It's also a great air barrier, which is so important for energy efficiency. So drywall is not a bad product. These have their own benefits, mostly being they're very durable. You don't have to worry about getting holes in your wall. You can hang stuff just about anywhere. They have a lot more character than drywall, in my opinion. That comes back to preference. They just look nice. So each one has their pros and cons. And we just chose to do wood. So I hope that answers the questions. How much it costs? Now the cost is going to vary depending on the wood, the length, the amount of waste, how big the room is, and all of that. So I can't give you guys an exact cost for cost analysis, but I hope that explains it. And while we're talking about drywall versus wood, let's talk about the weight. Some people are worried about the weight. This wood actually weighs slightly more than the drywall in comparable size. So it's not a big weight difference. I would say very close to the same weight. The wood, it may weigh just a little bit more. It's not gonna stress the house. It's not gonna hurt anything. They're very comparable. And a lot of people actually install drywall and wood layered and it's double the weight and it doesn't hurt anything. So I'm not worried about weight issues, but they are comparable. Well, I'm glad I finally got that over with. I've been wanting to talk about that for a while. So I hope you found it enlightening, useful. I hope you guys found it interesting. We're gonna get back to the project and get those boards finished.